Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to my light flickering tutorial. In this tutorial, really quickly, we are going to create a light that flickers. Alright, so before we get started, um, go on ahead and check the description for uh, contact information as well as the blend file in case you get lost. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit X and delete our cube and then space and add plane. Alternatively, you can do Shift A, or you can go up here to add mesh plane. All right, and then we're gonna hit S, and we're gonna scale it up 10 as well. Um, hmm, no, I'll leave this light in. All right, and I'm going to set it to textured. And then we're gonna go over to our light settings, and I'm gonna set the distance to 10. I should make it a little bit darker. This might work better with a spotlight though. So let's use a spotlight and then in, then hit in in the 3D viewport and scroll up to transform. And I'm going to get rid of all the rotation values. Okay. So note, in order to see this, you'll have to be in GLSL mode. Uh, in multi-texture, you won't be able to see the light source. Uh, okay. So now what we want to do is go over to our energy and then hit I. All right. Now down here at the bottom where our 3D viewport icon is, go to our graph editor. All right. Now go to key, add F curve modifier or shift control M and then use a random noise. All right. So that pretty much concludes it. Um, earlier in the past, you would have had to place these all by hand, which is time consuming and not really all that fun. Um, but you may have to tweak it a little bit, but for this tutorial, we're just gonna leave it at default. And now if we were to hit Alt-A, you can see in the 3D viewport that our light is flickering ever so subtly. All right. So that concludes this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, follow me on Twitter if you want to keep up with what I'm doing. Uh, as well, stop by the forums if you have any questions. And I have an IRC set up. Also check the description for all this uh, information. And stop by the IRC. I'm generally in it 24-7. So you can ask questions if you'd like. Thank you.